hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so today i'm going to do a reaction video and i'm reacting to sharon's video and she has a very interesting video i mean story about her her life so she got parent when she was a little girl and so sometimes she does very nice makeups trying to have different kind of looks so I will post her a uh, her link down below so you guys can go and watch her videos. So she's a very nice, she's so talented, and I like watching her videos on Instagram and on YouTube. So let's t react to her transform making a uh it's it's an extreme extreme makeover transformation by Shalom. Oh, is it Sharon Sh Shalom? So let's get to the video. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see my hair looks so treacherous um thanks to kelly for that word um but it looks so ugly it looks like a wet dog that's because i just shampooed and conditioned it so i will have to go in and dry it a bit more because it's not truly dry um so right now i'm just taking my tweezer and i'm just kind of parting the part i'm just kind of tweaking the part just because um this hair was originally like i cut it with bangs so i didn't have to go in and tweak it so just because today i'm wearing it as a side part i decided to just kind of put some tweaking in it and if you guys want to see how i got this color make sure you check out the video on my channel i'm going to leave it in the description bar down below and also on a card um but yeah I, i'm just having my moment right now just a little slow motion <laughs> But it was burning my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my got to be glue. And I'm using the one in the black tube. Because I find that one doesn't leave um, doesn't leave me with that white cast. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the perimeter of my hair. Hairline, which I don't have. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the spray got to be glue. And this really makes my wig stick on. Like I can get on a roller coaster without being afraid that my wig is going to fly off my head. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and drag my wig and place it right on top of that um, glue and spray. And then I'm just going to give it a gentle tap. Um, yeah, so that is what we're doing now. So and then I'm going to go ahead and part my hair and I'm, this is where we're going to start curling my hair and I just went ahead and sprayed that got to be glue spray on it and this really does help my hair stay the curls last longer and then I'm just going to go ahead and take my um curling wand. I need to stop saying and then and then and then. So I'm taking my curling wand and I'm rolling my hair and as you guys can see, I'm just curling it away from my face. So I'm pulling the hair back and curling it away. So the makeup, the, sorry, so the makeup part is here. So let's get to the makeup. With our um, face makeup and I'm just taking this um, eyebrow pencil by elf cosmetics and if you guys know elf cosmetic is super inexpensive so yeah i'm just doing my brows with that and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my cat Bounty concealer and i'm just gonna clean off my brows so it can actually come into formation because if you can't actually see my brows when i just do the brow without um cleaning it off with a concealer um so yeah the concealer basically helps me sculpt the brows and make it look like yeah i got something okay um so that is what i'm doing i am so lucky today like my brows actually worked out really easy like it didn't take me so long to do it so right now i'm just taking my moisturizer and i'm using the water infused moisturizer by lancome and i freaking love this it's just oh hydrates my face so well um and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my primer and because we are in the summer season and i can get pretty oily so i'm gonna go ahead and take this ever matte um pro primer by 
Becca Cosmetics and I'm just tapping it around the areas of my face that I need it the most. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my correct color corrector concealer by LA Cosmetics and I'm just applying it right around the dark areas of my face especially my scar and so I'm taking my foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hill and I have it in two shades so I'm basically taking the darkest shade and I'm applying it around the perimeter of my face because that is where that is the darkest and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the lighter shade that I have and I'm applying it on the center of my face and just kind of making it brighter and I know it looks a bit red I don't know why it's coming off reddish on camera because when I usually do this makeup off camera it's like my skin tone and then I'm going back in that Katmandi um, concealer which at first I did not like but I'm actually really loving now for some reason um it's dewy and the coverage is really nice so i'm just applying it on the areas of my face that i normally would highlight which is underneath my eyes on my forehead a bit on my forehead my chin and on the center of my nose and then i'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend it out and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my um nyx Drop, total drop foundation and I'm applying it as my contour so yeah and then I'm blending it with that same brush that I blend my foundation and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender again to just blend it seamlessly into the foundation so now I'm taking my powder and oh my god I regret using this powder today I actually left all the time I'm looking at the watch because I have to go sound and so I hope we finish this very fast. My other powder at my friend's house, so I had to work with this. Um, but I just, uh, I didn't like the way it looks, so I actually went back in with my um, ear spun powder. And I just apply it so that it can reduce that yellowness into my skin. Um, so yeah, I'm taking Pentaly, Paint Pot Pentaly by MAC, and I'm applying it on my eyelid. And this is just sort of like a primer, and it also brights in my lid so that the eyeshadow that I apply pops. I'm gonna go ahead and take this gorgeous palette by Nicole and Violet Voss. This literally just came out yesterday, and I'm so, so lucky to have it here with me. Um, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this warm brown shade and applying it right on on top above my crease um and i'm using this as a transition color before i go in with the darkest shade brown and now i'm just taking that and applying it right on my crease to kind of deepen that shade because we're going for a cut crease today i haven't done a cut crease in a long time so it's so fun to do it again today and then i'm just gonna go back in that same brush and i'm gonna blend it in with the first shade and now i'm going back into our painterly paint pot and i'm just using that to cut my crease and i'm cutting my crease right above my actual crease because i wanted to give the illusion of a bigger lid and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it and set it with powder and then i'm gonna go back into that um palette and i'm taking this peachy shade um pale color and i'm applying it right on top of that painterly paint pot and this is what it looks like and then now we are just gonna go ahead and apply our eyeliner and so for eyeliner i'm not trying to make the eyeliner as long as my um cut crease is because i feel like that's going to give it um it's gonna make the eyes look so much smaller so i'm making the eyeliner very short it's not going to be extended eyeliner and then you just want to go ahead and pop your favorite eyelashes and i'm using ferrat lashes by huda beauty and then i'm gonna go ahead and just apply my mask it's been so many years i've been trying to put my lashes and i only succeeded today but still they are not slain just to blend everything together and so for contour i'm using this blush by mac and it looks it's so dark that i can use it to contour my face and i'm just using it with a very light hand because this can go a wire anytime <laughs> but yeah so i'm chiseling my face and then i'm gonna take my 
blush. It's a cinnamon by NYX to just bring back some colors into my face. Um, and just, yeah. And now we're going to drench our face with Fist Plus so that all that powder that we're applying on our face is just melted all together. And I like to apply uh, my Fix Plus before I apply my highlighter because I feel like it just kind of gives my highlighter a smooth canvas to work so it doesn't look too grainy. And so for my lips, I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth to light my lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Ruby by MAC and applied and this is now my favorite lip combo my favorite red lip combo if you guys know before I used to stay away from red um, lipstick because I just feel like I don't know I just couldn't find the right one but I think I found the right one for, li um, for highlighter I'm just using makeup forever sculpting to a highlighter and I freaking love this oh my god Ooh! And then I'm putting some a bit on the tip of my nose and a bit on the bridge of my nose and making sure that is blended. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. If you like this video, she's, she's trying to say if you like this video, give, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I mean, my video. So... Let me know what you think guys about this video and about me reacting to it and what did you guys do you like it so i'm gonna rush to sauna and then we gonna see when i come back later with something new so you guys enjoy your day wherever you are and see you on the next video bye